I want to share a deals and finds with you today. Uh, hit my favorite thrift store and picked up some stuff. First of all, I got this Camelback Antidote Reservoir. It's a very small one. It's only a 50 ounce or 1.5 liter. Uh, seems to be new in box. Got it uh, at the thrift store for $10. And um, if you're one of my five faithful, you know I'm, I'm really not into uh, actually drinking out of one of these uh, uh, reservoirs. But I think they're wonderful for carrying water. And I, I mean, I'll drink out of them if I have to. But uh, you're going to be seeing this again because I got this for a new piece of gear that I just picked up that uh that this is going to fit so this was just a very uh opportune thing to uh to pick this up and then next i picked up some uh once again thrift store so these are used but they look to be in very good shape picked up some true spec um what do you call these things uh, you know action trousers combat trousers. i don't know what you call these things but they they got lots of pockets on them utility trousers uh, and they're nice enough you can wear them to work if you work in that kind of place. Um, and they seem to be in very, very good shape. And they just have to be my exact size. And then I picked up, and those were, I think, eight, eight bucks. And then I picked up what many of you will recognize as a field jacket liner. This is a brand new one. Um, uh, when I say brand new, it, it, it was issued obviously, but I mean, it's very, very new, and it doesn't look like it was worn much, if at all. And uh, these are getting a little more rare because they don't wear field jackets much anymore. But uh, this was um, Air Force issue, and it has that kind of sage color to it from when they were wearing the uh, ABUs. Now, here's why I got it. My daughter lives in Brooklyn, Brooklyn, New York, and she tells me that this is the latest fad to wear these things as a jacket. Uh, she says they'll pay $100 a piece for them up there. So I got her one. going to send it to her so that she can be fashionable. Uh, so, whatever. And then here's the real find. Um, this is a first aid kit. Unopened. Uh, as issued. And we're going to look over what comes in it. And we're actually going to open some of it. Some of it we will leave sealed. But this thing, uh, first of all, the pouch, nice little Molly pouch, and it says on it, what does it say? Individual first aid kit. So it's uh, one big pouch, and then the front is a side pouch. It seems like I've got a pouch very similar to this already in my collection. Um... But that's a pretty nice patch, and I love that it's I love that it's in Ranger Green. So here's what came in it. First of all, there's this Ziploc bag, and according to the Ziploc bag, we have a lip moisturizer, a triangular bandage, hydration salts, purification tablets, a skin marker, bacitracin ointment, uh, a couple of bandages, safety pins, field medical card, and first aid instruction sheet. So we're going to open up and see if all that stuff is actually in there. Let's do that. So here everything is laid out. And uh, I do want to point out that all this, though this thing looks brand new and has never been opened, the expiration date on it was 2008. So, so it's pretty old. Um, but like I said, it's been sitting somewhere and never been opened. Now that will affect some of the items in here, but it won't affect some others. I mean... Uh, these bandages are not going to be affected. It may be that this uh, water purification tablets, they may not work anymore. I don't, I don't really know what the uh, lifespan of these things is, but I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't count on them. So, but anyway, so looks like we've got everything said we would have. Here's the little body tag. The hydration uh, salts seem fine. Uh, you know, I'm sure this antibiotic's fine. All this stuff was uh, sitting in a pouch for, gosh, years and years. This is some uh, instructions on how to do first aid using some of the items that are actually in this first aid kit. So, that looks like everything is there. I don't think anything is missing. Uh, nope. 
nothing's missing it's all in there and they call that the minor first aid module now let's look at these other two items first of all is the trauma module and then attached to it is the quick clot module now this quick clot module I don't know the lifespan of, of quick clot I'll, I'll look it up but obviously this thing's this stuff's pretty old but it's never been out of here so okay it says 2010 expiration date so that's that's 13 years feels pretty hard I may go ahead and open that I don't I don't I don't know that it's any good anymore um, and it's not something I would want to count on but the uh, trauma module may have some things that are pretty good as you can see it's shrink wrapped sealed away and it's supposed to have a bandage kit elastic a cat tourniquet a bandage gauze cotton EMT shears a naso pharyngeal airway it's hard to say that and some surgical tape so what I think we'll do is go ahead and open these and look at them and, and see what we think of them like I said some of these items are not going to be good anymore but I can easily replace uh, them and we'll just see how good a kit we got here all right we've got the uh, minor first aid kit uh, stuff put back away and let's go ahead and open this quick clot. Like I said, it's 13 years old, so I'm not going to count on it to work. But let's see what kind of condition it is in. So the quick clot is very hard. Um, that doesn't mean it wouldn't work. I don't really know. You know, expiration dates are there for a reason, but often uh, uh, the reason is to uh, uh, give you kind of a... Um, not deniability, but to give the manufacturer some, some wiggle room. Um, it's very interesting. I think what I'll do when I have a chance is find some blood and see how <laughs> it works. But I'm not going to cut myself right now just to see if quick light works because that stuff does burn. So let's open this trauma module and see how it looks. All right, not bad at all. Um, so we got two of the Israeli type bandages in here. Um, they look fine. Cat tourniquet, it seems fine. I mean, everything's just been really compressed in there. Um, the compressed gauze is fine. I do get a little worried about the, uh, and I, I can't ever say that, the na nasal pharo, yeah, the pharyngeal. It's really mashed. Uh, I kind of wonder about that, you know, like if it's collapsed and not going to open back up. And of course, the scissors are fine. They're kind of small scissors, but they're great. Uh, the tape. The tape's mashed, but still tapes. Everything looks fine, and I'm going to be able to use some of this stuff, and some of the stuff I might have to replace, but it's going to make a good little first aid kit, and uh, you can't have too many of those first aid kits. So anyway, and I got that for $10. Um, so I'm real happy with this deals and finds. Just a little bit of something for everybody on this one. And um, I just really, really enjoy sharing this with you. <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching.